What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is the lagging body parts series. We're doing chest. Here we go. All right. So first tip, dips. Where's the lower part of your chest? Little tip on the dips. When you push, push the shoulders down at the end of the movement. This will work your serratus muscle. And if those serratus muscles are activated, you're lowering your risk of shoulder injuries. Second tip on dips, keep your head neutral in line with the spine. None of that head forward posture because you're actually not activating your chest as much. Keep your head upright and chin in, tucked in, and go all the way down. Now on dips, the last part of the movement is working a little bit more tricep, but at the bottom of the movement, that's where you actually work your chest muscle, and that's where the most tension is placed on the pectorals. So go all the way down on dips. If you cannot go all the way down on dips, I suggest you doing a decline bench press or a decline dumbbell press until you get strong enough to be able to do at least six to eight reps on the dips, AKA the upper body squats. Tip number two, when you're doing any kind of machine or any kind of presses for that matter, you wanna keep the shoulders down and back. This will put your shoulder in a better mechanical advantage, lowering your risk of injuries again. So head straight, shoulders depressed and retracted, and then you press. Another tip on pressing movements. When you see those guys doing the presses, their head doesn't touch the bench. You're not doing yourself any favors there, guys. If you actually push your head against the bench, you will create a neural drive in your lower part of your trap that will activate your chest even more. It's like you want to push yourself into the bench. Okay, so shoulders depressed, retracted, head pushing against the bench, not lifting against the bench. All right, tip number three, and this is my most bang for your buck chest exercise. And this one is out of the box. I might not have seen this one too many times in the gym. Here, I actually use a low pulley and put handles on them and I actually grab a pair of dumbbells at the same time. So I have the pulley and the dumbbell in the same hand and I'm doing a pressing movement. Now the pulleys will want to push your arms out so you're activating your chest, you're firing up the chest to prevent your arms from going to each side. And then you're fighting off gravity with the dumbbells. So it's the most bang for your buck exercise. We're actually firing up the chest so your arms don't open up and you're pressing against gravity. So give that one a try and I bet you'll never feel your chest like you're gonna feel it the next day and the day after. So these are great tips for chest. Give them a try and let the gains begin. All right, guys, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button, and stay tuned for much, much more great content on fitness, nutrition, recovery, you name it. If it can make you a better person, this is where you learn how to do it, okay? Catch you later.